feelings from people. We were talking about you coming on the air earlier this week and people coming out going, man, I still love Encino, man. Son-in-law mm. was on last night. Mm. Yeah, somebody on here just said that they just watched it. Mm. Love it. Yeah, no, I'm lucky. I'm very lucky that, you know, the stuff that I did back in the 90s still to this day, you know, 15 years later, whatever, it's been 20 years later, people still really like it. It's crazy how some yeah. of that stuff holds up it's now i know it's weird like biodome is like still like people are going crazy for i mean that. these are cult classics yeah and now, you know what he's also a guy that's never burned any bridges he's, ne uh -huh. he's never been a dick to people uh -huh. you know what i mean no yeah i've always i said that to chris D'Elia. you know who chris D'Elia is no you don't know chris D'Elia? yeah he was in that he was in that series with uh whitney cummings that just yeah got but canceled, he's also but got, he's, he's got a stand-up like, he's comedian a, he's, he's hilarious really big dude right now i don't he's, listen to hip-hop no <laughs> he's uh He's, he's great. A, yeah, he's really big. He's um uh he's on that show Undateable. Yeah, it's gonna be picked up for a second season. I actually on think NBC. last night I was I was driving home from our gig. I had the Raw Dog on the uh, the satellite radio. I think one of his uh, skits. Yeah, came up. but I told him I said, look, you know, you're hot right now. You know what I mean? You got to go out. You know, like being a comedian is like a politician. You got to go out and shake hands. You got to go do your radio. You got to say what's up to the clubs. You know, mm -hmm. talk, play Press all the, the clubs. Flesh. Yeah, and it's like because at some day you're not going to be hot, but you're still going to want to go on tour. And when you're not hot and you still want to tour, if you're a douchebag, you know people aren't going to want you back. Well, that was you I know? mean, at the end of the day, you got to be cool. You got to be cool to everyone, and you know it's like a small world, and you know, and you got to be nice to people. Well, know? that was basically the subject of Pauly Shore's Dead. Mm. Yeah, I mean, w which was basically like a mockumentary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean, you had this great career, and then all of a sudden things stopped. Yeah. And and it played true to life for you. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was, it was hysterical. It was hysterical. It was, you know, it, it's just interesting. It's like you said earlier, it's like if you're working a lot and then you're not, you know, and then you're, or no, if you're if you're out there a lot and then you're not out there, then pe something people think something bad happened. You know what I mean? Right. But sometimes mm -hmm. it's like, no, it's just a different era. You know, it's a different time. So in the Poly Shore is Dead, I wanted to do a make believe story what I thought people what I wanted people to think happened to me. Happened to you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that you died just to drum up publicity yeah, and like for what you chop moves into my house. And... Right. It was <laughs> if you haven't seen that. It's great. It's, it's I mean good. it's really good. Is that on yeah. Netflix, do you know? No, you know, that's another thing I'm really pissed off about. Go ahead, it's bent. like us Let it being go. on Netflix is like I got two th two of my titles on Netflix. That's it. Like a goofy movie and like Stonerville. <laughs> and those are like I mean goofy movie people like, but Stonerville was like the worst. You know, like sometimes you'll do things like, and you not don't know like what's gonna happen. I don't think I saw Stonerville. No one did. It's not the, <laughs> it's it's not the top of the list. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. Check cleared though. Right? Why'd you do it? I don't know, dude. It For money. At the, no, I don't even think I got paid that much. It just was like I thought it was funny at the time. I don't know. Are you a type of person that can't say no? Or back uh, then, were you one no, of those people I that say can't say no? No, I say no a lot. I say no a lot. Even back then. Um. No, you're right. No, back then I like to do a lot of stuff. Cuz I'm sure things were coming at you fast and yeah. furious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, no, I like to do a lot of any stuff. Any big things that you've said no to that you regret saying no to? Um uh I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> like he said, he's, you know, you'd be a nice guy in this world and yeah. it doesn't come back to bite you in the ass. Yeah. But people I, on the text are loving you, man. Yeah, Just but I love that. my new podcast is pretty cool. But you have, you don't know anything about it, right? No, no. Yeah, Tell it's me about cool. It. It's basically right now it's it's out there on iTunes and polyshore.com and also podcast one. It's basically like I'll interview so it's called interested. I'll interview someone and then someone else will comment on the interview. So, for instance, I'll like interview Chris Rock, and then I'll take that interview to Tommy Davidson, and we'll let me and Tommy will listen to the interview, and we'll stop the interview every like five minutes, and then com Tommy will comment on the interview. So it's almost like, like a mystery science theater three thousand. Yeah, exactly. Thing. And it's kind of cool though. Like I did Andy Dick, and then his son commented. You know what I mean? So yeah. I do, I've done over twenty of them. So I got pretty big names. That's really cool. Speaking it, of people that yeah, are out of cool. this time, it's I haven't cool, heard yeah. the name Tommy Davidson in forever. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Yeah, Not yeah, since yeah. the uh, Pizone wow. commercials. Yeah. What's he, oh, what's my he God. Doing? I forgot about He's those. He's touring and, you know, oh, trying to do his thing, you know. Excellent. What about Andy Dick? How's he doing? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is the standard answer. <laughs> oh, man. You Last I heard, he was living in a shed. <laughs> dude, you got to hear the podcast, dude, because he literally, like, because a lot of the interviews, like, you know, I'll set up. Like, I'll call the person and I'll set it up and organize it. But with him, I didn't. Like, what happened was, was I was at the comedy store. I was about to go on stage. And he comes he comes stumbling down the street wasted. 
and he's like looking for me because he needs a place to stay. Oh boy, you know what I mean. And the management Imagine that being finds like your me. House guest. Management hmm. finds me and he's like, Andy's looking for you. And instead of me being bombed, I was like, Yeah, I'm gonna get him. So I took him up to my office and I had the recorder. Uh huh. And I just started recording him, and he's just out of his mind. Was it just wacky? Oh yeah, like a wacky doodle type of thing. Super, but it's funny. So his, now was he, he was cool with you using that and put it on your podcast. Yeah, he was all right with that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's so cool. That's yeah, yeah, so yeah. neat that he was okay with because yeah. that is Andy Dick. No, I yeah, think yeah. Well, what's the, I, the the neat thing is is your Hollywood life. I mean, mm. who do you hang out with? Everybody? Oh man, I don't know. I don't really. I mean, I mean, so Andy Dick comes down the street looking for me, or you know, <laughs> hanging out with you know Joe Rogan and. No, you know, I, Tommy Davidson. I don't know. I mean, you know, I go to the comedy store. There's people there. I say what's up. But I live in Silver Lake. Silver Lake's cool. Oh, it's is that like the history area? Yeah, it's uh-huh. like I live out there, and everyone's kind of mellow there. You know, I had like before I got on a plane yesterday, I had like a, I had like a fresh, uh, fresh carrot juice with like ginger and apple. You know what I mean? <laughs> and grab my thing of nuts, and I'm like, I'm coming to St. Louis. <laughs> and they give you they give you a Budweiser <laughs> when you walk off the plane here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here's and a can of Budweiser. Welcome to St. Louis. Here's you know? some Budweiser and chlamydia. Welcome to St. Louis. Yeah, there's hey! the arch. But, there's um, the arch. Yeah, I don't know who I hang out with. You know, I, I go, you know, when I'm home, I, you know where I go, which is really funny. I go to this gym called Equinox. It's in West Hollywood. It's all celebrities. And just it's people hy- watch. It's hysterical, dude. I see, I it's can't, hysterical. I can't picture you having a night where you do nothing. Like, you're the guy that oh, does no, something every Oh, no, I do nothing. Night. No, no, no. I'm always doing nothing. Yeah, for real, like what I do do is like I'll like go see my mom. I'll go have some soup because she's got a caregiver that's Filipino that makes me soup. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Love it's soup. The <laughs> best. Filipinos, Love soup. Filipinos make the best soup. What kind of soup? Well, he steams rice in a wok, mm-hmm. so it's perfect. Like Asians know how to steam rice good for sure. some reason. Mm. It's like sticky rice kind of. And then he has like the soup stuff, and then you pour it on there, and then he goes, you want a chili? You want a chili? I'm like, yeah, I want a chili. Sure. And he sniffs the chili, and he puts the little chili flakes in there, and I sit with my mom, and it's the best. It's a meal right there. And that's an evening for you. I mean, you, yeah, you're so happy with that. Yeah, so I do that, that, and then I'll go to the Russian bathhouse. <laughs> the turkey, and now the that's Schwitz, a place the where, Schwitz, they, yeah. where, they, where they would beat you yeah. with sti- like you know leaves I, and stuff. Yeah, you know who I saw there a couple weeks ago that I hadn't seen in a while? It was a friend of mine. is Dexter from The Offspring. Oh, Dexter Holland. Yeah, yeah he, he goes there. He loves it. He's obsessed the with it. The Russian banya. Yeah, it's the Banya, exactly. And you go and is you it shits. a co-ed thing or is it a? It's both. Like sometimes it's just guys, and you have to look at these creepy Russian penises. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've, been, I've been to one. Where New York? Yeah, New York, 10th Street, in Brooklyn. Oh, the Brooklyn one. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So I go there, and then after that, I go to Silver Lake, and then just chill. You know, watch CNN, Fox News, Sports and that, Center. That's cool with you. Yeah, and I wake up early and do it again. You know, because I mean, you're uh, perceived as the go 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 guy. Well, I just don't keep know. going. Yeah. And when does it end? Do you retire at any point? I want to go. Um, my birthday's coming up like in a couple of weeks. So I think I'm going to go to Miami for a week and mess around down just there. Just to roast your bones? <laughs> That'd be fine. Just to, no, because Miami's great, dude, because it's like I, I don't like to stay out late in Miami. I like to enjoy the day. So I rent bikes. Mm-hmm. I rent a bike, and I bike around the South Beach, and then I go to the beach. And then, you know, and, and, and maybe smoke a little herb. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Check that out. And then uh, just get some fruit, you know, just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just right? get some fruit and hang out, <laughs> eat a banana on the beach. Yeah, get high and eat an orange, you know, why not? Just hang out.